Dr. Solis, uh, you want to give me a testimonial here on your uh, success with a uh, with a Dermabon? Yes, I had a 26-year-old gentleman with a foreign body in his left ear, which was this uh, unpopped popcorn kernel. How did it happen? How did the guy get in his ear? Uh, his uh, brother was playing hoops with uh, a popcorn kernel and my patient's ear. And uh, so he threw it. He threw it from across he the room. Threw it from and across the room and got it. You know, right in the ear. Okay, now. so but you actually used the Dermabond product. It was the actual brand. I did. It was, it was the actual Dermabond product that comes in the little glass blisters. Yeah. Right. And uh, so, what did you do differently? I used the rayon, rayon tipped uh, plastic swab, and I, I tried first using the free end. Uh, but you know the hollow part had a capillary effect, so it kept sucking the dermabond in, and I really didn't have a lot of um, dermabond uh, at the surface available. For, yeah, for and, that, and that's what we noted when we were doing our uh, serious research on this. So then I used the uh, rayon tip, and I frayed it a little bit so that there were more fibers, kind of you know, in okay. a loose configuration. Okay. I used the, I put the uh, tissue adhesive at the tip, let it set for a few minutes. So I didn't initially just use it because it was it was too liquid. It wasn't viscous enough. Okay. So uh, and then you were just checking enough. it with your finger. Yeah, or, or, you know, with a glove finger, I just kept you know touching it to to the tip, and once it became viscous enough and tacky enough, once it started to to, to adhere slightly to uh, to the, the tip of the glove. Then I went ahead and put it in the ear canal very carefully. The, for how long? Uh, I held it in contact with the kernel for about two to three minutes. I just kind of sat there and held okay. it very, very. So this might not this might pressure. not work in a kid. I mean, it might be a little bit more difficult if you if you used a I, I at a think, pediatric patient. I think it may not work depending on the size of the ear canal, but. I think as if you have a kid that's sedated and you can do this without having a lot of movement. Yeah, maybe I a little burst head. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then once I held it for a few minutes and you know I felt that he might you know be adhered, I just pulled it out and out came the kernel. Okay. So so, so in summary, the tricks here would be to use the rayon swab. We actually demonstrated that with the uh, actual cotton swabs that it didn't stick very well. Then you actually um, let it gel on the tip of the of the the rayon swab and put it in there and held it and you were successful. It worked. Congratulations. Thanks. All right.